Hey guys, Will Mason here, back in the demo lab um, at Mason Music Recording Studio. Today, as you can see, we're in the control room. So we have graduated, we have moved out of the barn and we're into the control room to check out this amazing guitar from Reverend Guitars. This is the King Bolt RAFM and it's gotta be one of my favorite Reverends that I've put my hands on yet. It is very feature rich, so we're gonna try to cover some of these features today and kind of walk through some of this and then of course I'll play the guitar through a couple of different amps so you can hear what it sounds like. To begin with, I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna take a look at the backside. Um, all right, so we're gonna start up here at the headstock and uh, one of the things I wanna point out over and over again is that Reverend has gone to great lengths to take care of touring musicians, real live guitar players who are on stage night after night. So to begin with, we have these pin lock tuners. These make changing your strings super easy, quick, and keeping your guitar in tune a breeze. Uh, especially when you're touring and you're changing strings every few days, if you do that, uh, these are a great asset to have. And then we see Zach Green has nicely signed this one for us. Actually, he signs all of them. He must be a busy gentleman. Um, at their shop, he sets them all up so you know that they are good to go. Um, and then if we travel down the neck, this, I mean, look at that neck. This is beautiful. This is one of the coolest things that they started doing, Reverend, in um, 2017, is the flame roasted maple neck. So this is a maple neck, but it doesn't look like one because it has been roasted in an oven at 300 degrees. And what that does is it pulls out the moisture, it pulls out the sugar content in the wood, and it makes it a lot more stable. So it's not as susceptible to weather changes. So if you're touring and you're going all around the country and you start up in Canada and you end up in Alabama, uh, a regular maple neck is gonna really struggle with that. It's gonna bow, it's gonna have some issues, and if it gets really dried out, you might have some of the frets start sticking out. That's never gonna be a problem with a flame roasted neck. And I don't know why, but for me, this is really cool to know, but if you cut it, like longitudinally, if you did a cross section of it, it's that color all the way through, which don't ever do that, but uh, that's what you would find. Um, as we continue down, we can see where the neck attaches to the body. We have the bolt, uh, the bolt on plate right here. And so notice that we have six screws that connect it rather than your typical four. This is gonna provide a more consistent and sturdy connection point. So if you're really abusive to your guitar on stage, this is very, very durable and it gives it better sustain um, and transfer of you know the sound of the neck to the body because it's just a stronger connection there. Um, and then we have the plate that hides the springs. Inside this, which you can't see, but you can go online and find pictures of, is the Vericlaw system. I'm not gonna get into too much detail about that, but you have three springs, which you can switch to two for the tremolo, and you can adjust how much tension you have on that. Now we're gonna flip it over and take a look at the top. This is a flame maple top. And so um, it's beautiful. You can see the pattern in the wood grains and uh, it's a great contrast to kind of the stain that we have on the side here. And to me, this is just one of their best looking guitars. It is just, it definitely catches your eye um, without being too loud. Uh, that's kind of how I think about it. Um, we have volume, we have tone, and we have the bass roll off and the bass contour knob, which is very similar to tone. Tone is gonna roll off the high frequencies on your instrument, treble. Bass is gonna do the exact opposite. It's a passive roll off. And so uh, it's a great, great feature to have that allows you to get a lot of different flavors out of one guitar without having to go back and forth to the amp. Then we also have a three-way selector switch, which is gonna switch between, of course, the neck and the bridge pickups. And we have the Wilkinson Tremolo with this arm that uh, has no free play, so it stays wherever you put it. I love it. It's super, super convenient. Again, if you're on stage, this is something you want on your guitar. Um, okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the pickups and then we're gonna shut up and play so you can hear the sound of the guitar. But these pickups are amazing. They have a hybrid setup, so you have a rail through the low strings, so the low E, the A, and the D strings. It's gonna be a tight um, low end, but then on the G, the B, and the high E, you have this oversized pole that's gonna give you a really fat sound for those lead guitar parts that you're playing on the single strings up high. It allows the guitar to be really clear if you're strumming through chords, even with distortion on, and yet at the same time really fat when you're playing lead stuff. So without further ado, we're gonna get started playing. Uh, we've had a couple people request that we try a couple of different amps on our setup. And so today, over by the lava lamp, uh, we have our orange dual tear, and we're gonna play back and forth between the different channels on that. I have one set up to be clean, one set up to be dirty. And then um, we had some requests for like a Fender style amp. 
Uh, and this is what I have for that. This is a SAM amp. This is made by a local tech here in Birmingham. It's got six L6 tubes in it and is a huge uh, favorite of mine. It sounds amazing. So we get to kind of hear some different flavors out of this guitar. All right, here we go. We're going to start off on the clean side of this orange amp. So that's what it sounds like with all the knobs all the way up. I'm going to roll some of the bass off just so you can hear what that does to the sound. So I love that because it has a full blend. I mean, you can roll the bass all the way down, you can roll it all the way up, and every single place in between. And so you have just a range of um, different tonal options. Uh, okay, I'm gonna switch over to the Tiny Terror channel. And I've got this one pretty much dimed out on the gain side, so you can hear what this guitar sounds like when it's really cooking um, with some distortion and some overdrive. <laughs> So it can definitely scream, you get some squealing, pinch harmonics going on, some silly things like that. Uh, definitely rocks on that sound. Um, okay, I'm gonna switch over to the same amp so you can hear what that sounds like. Uh, let's see here. My trusty AB box. So again, this is gonna be more of that Fender sound. Um, I am on like the dirtier side of this amp. And... bass contour down on that bridge pickup and get some really like slick twangy um, 
bright sounds going on. And again, it almost starts sounding like a single coil pickup, which is, these are humbuckers. So you don't have the, the hum going on, but at the same time, you can still get that twang. So here we go. great chicken picker kind of player, but you can kind of get the idea. You get your own hands on your own guitar and you can do better, that's fine. Um, so this is the Reverend King Bolt. I'm a huge, huge fan of this guitar. Um, we have them in our stores here in Birmingham, Alabama, masonmusicrocks.com. You can also check them out online there in our shop uh, and we ship anywhere in the United States. So if you like the review and you want the guitar, you can buy it from us and we will send it to you. Um, we're huge fans of this company. They're great to work with. Ken is an awesome guy and Joe Naylor is a genius. So please, please check out any Reverend guitars you can get your hands on. And if you are a fan of this video or any of our other videos, be a good YouTube citizen. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Uh, at this point in time, we only have about 200 followers and so I actually get on and respond to everything. I do this apparently. And so send me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have recommendations for gear that you'd want us to check out. We can absolutely do that. In fact, we did some things today with the two amps because people commented. So let me know what you think and we will see you next time. Until then, rock on.